The South Australian Jockey Club has lost its bid to axe jumps racing at Morpherville after the sports governing body forced it to keep the controversial fixture. While the number of jumps events has been cut, Morfordville must still host Herschel's races this year. After a two-year moratorium allowing jumps racing to remain at Morfordville, the SAJC again failed in its push to distance itself from the controversial sport. We don't want jumping at Morfordville and that's what we've been conveying to TRSA for quite some time. Uh, we don't believe the industry had a lot of support locally. Thoroughbred Racing SA has agreed to cut the number of jumps race days at the Metropolitan Track to four and send three hurdle races to regional clubs. We still believe there's a place for it and now the focus will turn on those, on those participants to actually prove to everyone that it's a genuine part of our industry that they want to see grow and continue to flourish. South Australia and Victoria are the only states that still allow jumps racing and the RSPCA says community concern about animal welfare is growing with 15 horses dying locally in the past six years as a result of jumps. The risks that are posed on horses um, because of this type of event are unacceptable. We know that horses will fall, they'll become injured and even die. A steeplechase and a hurdle event will still be staged on each day of the Oakbank Easter Carnival which is still considered the world's biggest picnic race meeting. They come because of the jumping. You have to remember that the most popular race meetings in the world are normally around jumps races. 22 jumps races will be staged in South Australia from March until August. John O'Shea, ABC News, Adelaide.